Three Great Ways to Develop Digital Wisdom With Futurist, Marcus T. Anthony Digital wisdom indicates the degree to which a person is in conscious relationship with digital environments and technologies. This includes understanding the way that online technologies and environments function, and how best to respond to them. Digital wisdom comprises three parts. The first is, know thyself, the second is, know the humans, and the third is, know the machines. Individuals, organizations and societies can work at developing these three domains of digital wisdom, both personally and collectively. Know thyself is the foundational domain of digital wisdom. It entails coming to an experiential embodied awareness of who you really are, and of what your true needs and values are. In other words, it is being able to embody the authentic self. It also necessitates understanding how your mind functions. That includes being conscious of your trigger points, personal issues and the possible trauma that underlies that and it includes being able to willfully bring yourself to mindful attention, which establishes your ability to access the moment of agency, and to stand in your power. The moment of agency is that instant in time where your mind is confronted with one or more choices. Bringing awareness to that moment grants you power over that choice, reducing the possibility that it is being driven by the conditioned mind or an external party. Deep self-awareness is therefore the bedrock of digital wisdom, and it is what distinguishes it from digital literacy, which typically fails to encourage introspective wisdom. Without this crucial grounding in self-knowledge, simply teaching people about the functional features of online systems, like algorithms, echo chambers and disinformation, is insufficient. Mindfulness helps you to return awareness to the present moment, to your body and its intuitive intelligence, and grants you the ability to pull out of attachment to online spaces, at will. This is important, because without the ability to witness your thoughts and feelings, you will tend to become identified with your mind and its contents. That not only retards your capacity to sense and feel your authentic self, but it also makes you far more susceptible to online manipulation. The moment of agency, therefore, may pass unobserved, for those with poor self-awareness. Know the humans. In order to foster digital wisdom, it is also important that you develop an understanding of how human beings function, biologically and culturally. How and why do people behave the way they do, online and offline? Within this domain there are many concepts and tools which can assist us in being wiser netizens. You can, for example, pay mindful attention to how human tribes function, and how you may have become drawn into a tribe. Adopting the wisdom of the Buddhist noticing techniques is one approach which can help you shift such bad habits. While online, you can begin to identify what your tribalist trigger points are. In particular, you should notice when your judgment and anger are triggered, within tribal spaces. Once the associated emotions have been brought into full awareness, you can then remove attention from the observed virtual space, and onto your body and its feelings. Noticing processes can help create emotional distance between you and the event being experienced, and in turn from the tribe itself. Secondly, it is useful to have an understanding of how other people and organizations deliberately or unconsciously target your trigger points, to manipulate you. These others may be ordinary individuals, as well as media and social media companies, advertisers, trolls, or even bots. Their typical goal is to grab your attention, and suck you back into an emotional state, such that they can enact their agenda. For social and political movements, and the bad faith actors who exploit them, the goal is most likely to get you to emotionally identify, either for or against an idea, person or group. Left, right. Woke, anti-woke. Feminist, red pill. China, America. This is also what drives revenue to media and social media content creators via advertising, and garners rewards from tech platforms. It also helps them to sell their own products and services directly. We humans have a tendency to judge traits in others that we deny in ourselves. So if you are able to recognize those common human imperfections, you can also learn to be more compassionate when you see others embodying such traits. Armed with knowledge from the second domain of digital wisdom, you can be better prepared both for your online interactions, 
and for the way online systems and technologies target your human traits and frailties. Know the machines. The third domain of digital wisdom is about developing a competent understanding of how the internet and current information technologies function. Developing a functional understanding of technology is not a static skill set, as the technology is forever changing, along with the human cultures that are in relationship with it. You have to keep learning and growing along with it. The arrival of generative artificial intelligence like ChatGPT, for example, is heralding a seismic shift in the way we humans relate to technology, society, and even to our own minds. This will inevitably lead to many great benefits, but as with all technologies, there will be many unanticipated impacts. Digital wisdom can also be enhanced by knowing that big tech organizations deliberately promote online addiction. Beginning around 2010, companies like Instagram, Facebook, and Uber took the research of Stanford professor B.J. Fogg and deliberately deployed it to make their products more addictive. The Fogg behavior model states that for a behavior to occur, there needs to be motivation, ability, and a trigger. Shoshana Zuboff's concept of surveillance capitalism is a related understanding that may enhance digital wisdom. Ideally, you should be aware of the clicks for profit model that drives the way content comes to you online. Social media giants are not a charity. They make money by selling advertising, and to do that, they need to collect users' personal data, so that they know which ads to target, and to which people. By improving an ad's click-through rate, tech platforms can charge more money for advertising. Tristan Harris, as seen in the documentary The Social Dilemma, has famously stated that, if you aren't being billed, you are the product. Another concept within the third domain of digital wisdom is audience capture. There is a bind that many content creators typically encounter, that of choosing whether to produce content they believe is of highest value to society, or that which pleases their audience and optimizes revenue. The algorithms tend to reward simple repetitive narratives that garner the most clicks from a socially and politically homogenous audience. The story of YouTuber Nick Akato Avocado is a good example. Nick Akato morphed from a 170-pound vegan, into a 300-plus pound obese human, who devoured an entire McDonald's menu in a single sitting, to satisfy his viewers. So, these are the three domains of digital wisdom, and just a few examples of concepts and tools related to each. Know thyself. Know the humans. And know the machines. You can find many more in the book Power and Presence. Of the three, the first domain of know thyself is most undervalued in 21st century netizens, and it is thus the domain where we feel most uncomfortable. But it is into this zone of discomfort that we must venture, if our civilization is to develop digital wisdom, and transcend the crisis in sense-making. We have a choice. Become wise. Or face demise. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to Marcus T. Anthony's Power and Presence YouTube channel. There will be many more great videos to come.